Hello everyone, welcome back to Mary Stock Channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to see the next swing button that is a J check box and J radio button. Before starting the topic, just I request you please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification as soon as I do my next videos. Now here we have we are going to see a J check box. As I told in a J button that it is the subclass or the super class of J button is what the abstract button and here also the J checkbox the super class is a abstract button but it immediately immediately there is a super class of J toggle button just remember that means abstract button J toggle button and then the J checkbox now here are the constructor that we can apply where you can pass the icon then you can pass the icon here boolean status. If it is true, then the checkbox will be checked. If you pass here false, it will be unchecked. Here you have to specify the string that you wanted to be the side at the side of the checkbox. As we know, the checkbox is have the level to its side. So there you can pass then the string is or its boolean. Whatever status is there, you can pass here then string or icon. Both also you can pass here. You can pass the string and icon too. Now here the you can pass the string icon and the boolean state of what exactly will be the state. So this is regarding the J checkbox. Means as per the requirement, you can apply here the icon will be applied to the that button which is dot the checkbox. If you want what exact exactly there you want the label, so here you can use this constructor. So instead of using this, at the last which one is that you can apply most of the, most of the time we apply the J checkbox. This last control that is your string is also there, then the icon and the boolean status. What exactly is the status? Or else you can use this J checkbox too. If you don't want it to specify the status, actual status should be default whenever the output comes. So this was regarding the J checkbox. Next we will see of the J radio button. So now here we will see of J radio button. As I told in J checkbox, what was this sub super class? It was a J toggle button and again this super class it was the abstract button. In the same way here you will have the abstract button and below it it will have a J toggle button and thus it will have a J radio button. If you see here the constructor they are very similar or same as, as it were in a checkbox. In we in AWT we have seen it does not support the radio button. But we are we were using checkbox groups object and using a checkbox both the combination we are creating a radio button. But here in swing the component J radio button is provided for a radio button. That means whenever you click one button the another will disappear that means only one single choice can be done the same way here you can pass the icon and your icon and the status whatever status is the party for that you should specify then the string along with whatever string will be like male female anything you can pass here then the string the boolean status and so here you can pass the status then the string and icon both are there where you can specify the string and the icon and here string icon and the boolean status so this was regarding the j radio button just understand what is exactly the super class it's a base class that method this concept of remember this parameter this will be easy for you there of a j radio button and j checkbox for your mcq such type of question comes and try to solve or uh, have the hand solve of each and every constructor observe its observe its output because it's also very important for your mcq for your online examination hope you understand this the radio button and the checkbox if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you